Happy 10,000 subscribers. Happy 10,000 <laughs> subscribers. Citations number one. My name is Food Cat, and welcome to my cooking show. In today's episode, I'm going to be making a cake. And I'm actually not a big cake person. As a matter of fact, I'm not big on sweets at all. But I'm doing this for obvious reasons. So what I have here for ingredients are this unhealthy frosting that has really bad ingredients. But I'm doing this just for a one-time thing. Sugar-free. So I have some baking powder here. Baking soda. Sweetened cocoa powder. All-purpose flour. Buttermilk. And two eggs. So we'll go ahead and get this started and hopefully this does not result in a disaster. All right, so we're starting off with the all-purpose flour. So what we have to do is get one three-fourth cups of flour. So I gotta go find my cup for that. I got one cup, one and a half. Um, we're already in a bad start already. Yeah, I'm cutting this part of the video. All right, good news everyone. I have my water measuring cup, so I put three-fourths of that. I also forgot about this ingredient, but I'm putting in stevia. I don't know if I'm allowed to put this into a cake, but I'm gonna see what would happen. So, they told me to put in a 3 4 cup of that. That's a lot. 3 4 cup of cocoa powder. I can see the measurements from here just because everything else is pretty much 3 4 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 2 teaspoons of baking soda. I already put in one, so this is two. 1 teaspoon of this delicious pink Himalayan salt. They said salt, but I like pink Himalayan salt better, so that's going down in. This is one cup of buttermilk. Now we got half a cup of olive oil. It's supposed to be canola oil, but I don't have canola oil, and I don't feel like getting it, so stick with olive oil. So I'm just doing a little bit of modifications as I'm going, and hopefully this works out. All right, now I'm whisking this. I was actually supposed to do this right after the pink Himalayan salt part, but the video didn't tell me that after I put everything in, which is absurd. This is looking mighty chocolatey. So now one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm whisking this, and now it's starting to look like it has a lot of protein in it. The video said one cup of coffee, but I'm not a coffee person, so I'm just going to put in more buttermilk. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in the cup. And I'm obviously going to be whisking this again, so I'm not going to record myself doing that because this is actually a wrist workout. Alright, so before doing anything super clumsy, I put napkins right under the cake pan. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe all this off of the whisk, and I guess I'll lay it onto the napkins. And now we're going to start pouring. Dang, that's looking good. It's like a chocolate factory. Wait, is that it? Then again, the video is so incompetent that they didn't say what the measurements are for the cake pan, so I'm just gonna work with this. All right, so now I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees. So what to do during that time? Hanging windshield wipers. I guess we'll try that. Alright, so this is going down right now. I put in for 25 minutes for 350 degrees. Today's gonna be A-OK -okay because we're celebrating the Big 10K. Happy 10K, Foo Cat. Okay, this song's already awful. Now what's my milestone wish? Good morning. <laughs> Just being part of the toxic generation and taking Instagram photos. Oh gosh, the candle's actually going on to the K. Okay, I'm gonna blow this off now. I think birthday candles are meant to be quick, and it took me a couple of tries to do that song, and it looks like I also spilled some onto the table. Wow, what a disaster. I hope you all enjoyed this cooking video. For a stevia sweetened cake, it tastes exactly like a normal chocolate cake. 
Doesn't taste bad at all, but my taste buds can't handle too much chocolate. And the unfortunate part is that I'm probably the only one who has to finish it all. Thanks once more for the big 10k, and I'll see you all in more of this 10k sub week.